The concerns over conditions continue at the Metropolitan Detention Center here in Bernalillo County. As the year winds down, the list of inmates who have died while in the care of the county is growing. Tonight, we're learning about a 32-year-old woman who died, apparently of a medical emergency. County officials say that life-saving efforts did not work. Brittany Costello is looking into this. Brittany, so far, more questions than answers here. That's right, Ryan. MDC officials say there is an investigation and they're waiting for medical, the medical investigator to determine cause of death. But this is just another incident calling more attention to some of the challenges we've told you about this year. 32 year old Olivia Martinez died Christmas morning, just four days after being booked into the Metropolitan Detention Center in Bernalillo County. She was arrested after police say she was caught as passenger in a stolen vehicle, but her charges were dismissed the same day for lack of evidence. She was being held for failing to appear in a different case from May 2023, accused of slashing someone's car tire. Including hers, we've tallied around nine inmate deaths over the last year. The Bernalillo County Detention facility advisory board touched on jail safety in June. I think that's an important thing that, that, uh, that, that the general public knows that it has our attention. It has had our attention and will continue to work on it. But we continue to hear from people questioning the type of care at MDC and whether inmates get the medical attention they need. It's been how it really has because you don't expect your kid to get injured or even die in a place where they're supposed to be taking care of them. UNM Hospital took over as the new health care provider in late July, announcing new efforts and priorities in August. We have identified areas requiring our immediate attention, such as a need for increased staff and process improvement. And in response to this, we are actively working on standardizing high-risk areas such as intake, detox, and sick call. We've talked a lot about staffing shortages at MDC. As of today, there is a 30% vacancy rate for officers in security posts. As for the investigation into Martinez's death, it will be handled by the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office along with the MDC Office of Professional Standards. Ryan. That's a death on Christmas Day there. And of course, the disturbance at the Juvenile Detention Center. A lot of questions need to be answered here. Brittany, thanks.